Hi, it's Jose, and today I'm going to talk to you about a movie I really like. Welcome to Memento. So, where are you? You're in some hotel room. Here's the key and you feel like it's the first time you have been here but perhaps I've been here for a week, three months I don't know, it's hard to say it's just an anonymous room the best way to start talking about a movie that starts in the end it's at the end which is in this case the beginning anyways Leonard gets the final kill to Eddie it's a very beautiful shot, it's classy even though it's a shot in the head the weird thing about that shot is that it makes that teddy glasses fall like this and then flip up like that. Like this and like that. This is the second thing I know that turns himself upside down when he dies. There's nothing on the doors. I take a look anyways. It's just a Bible. It's in Spanish. Am I in Mexico? Later on in the movie we get to see when Lenny takes a picture of Teddy to remember him and here writes a number down 555-1134 five, 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 one, one, the problem about it is that later that one changes into a zero and it becomes 555-0134 five, 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 who wrote all those numbers? again the nemesis? you kinda know who you are you know sort of a lot about yourself it's day to day stuff no it's they get to be really useful One of the most amazing things about a movie, gotta be Lenny's map. It's simple awesome, honestly. The bad thing about it is that the map is backstabbing Leonard. He tries to continue his investigation and the map keeps on moving the pictures to confuse him. Pay attention. First, we can notice that space up there. It's empty. Empty. Discount in. Natalie with nothing next to her. Then Natalie with Teddy somehow next to her. Then the car. And then nothing at all. And in the end Teddy once again next to Natalie like we saw before. What is all that about? Seriously, I find it uncool that the map messes with him. You know the system. If you want to make it work. You gotta write things down. And if you have a piece of information which is vital. Then write on your body. Who is this? Lenny can't really see a difference between one and I. He has a lot of problems about it. When he drives down Teddy's license, he writes SG137IU, which is correct. But he writes I on one just the same. It is very confusing. But don't worry, I have a very good explanation for that. So, what do you see in this picture? 12, 13, 14. And what do you see in this picture? A, B, Z. But if you take a closer look at it, you can notice that the 13 and the B are identical. We just read numbers with numbers and letter with letters. I would say that's the reason why. What do you mean we talked before? What did we talk about? No, I remember who I am. I just can't create new memories. I don't like talking on the phone. I like to see people in the eye when I talk to them. This movie gave a whole new meaning to the word motion picture. Not only because it's an awesome movie, for real, also because there are so many pictures moving around. Here, Lenny starts riding over the jacket and the picture runs away to the bed. Jacket, bed. Jacket, bed. And here he's driving and all the pictures are backward with the black side looking to him, but they suddenly turn around. That's like black magic. I think the map from the wall has a spell on all those pictures. Well, I watched the movies before. I got some DVD because I liked them. And then I just gotta watch them again. Sometimes I use a notebook and I write down the things I find. What's the name of that movie? What, what's a memento? What's it means? No, it's not really a lot of work. Who 
jueces. Here's Natalie with her beautiful lips. They happen to be broken by now, but we are very lucky because she has healing powers. She is actually the most beautiful girl with healing powers, a part of Sarah Kerrigan. So her lips get to heal, so she can kiss Lenny. I would say that's the most impressive trick, a part of his wife's book. He's in the fire. He goes out. And he goes in. Probably burn truckloads of your stuff. I don't know about the other things, but the book, twice. I'm gonna go on with my investigation. I base myself in facts, and the camera never lies. I got to believe that my actions still have a meaning. It doesn't matter if I can't remember them. Last but not least, I would like to say something quick about Todd's room. When Ellie's about to get in, we can notice a little window on the left side. But once he's inside the room, it turns into a huge panoramic window. I have no idea why. Yeah, I think I have it. Who is this? Now, where was I? <laughs>